Hi everyone. Uh, basically the last few days I've been tying quite a few CDC flies and uh, obviously I put the videos on YouTube and I get asked a lot about the, the CDC that I use. Now this is the, the CDC as I bought it. Now what I did was I actually I bought this from uh, China and a kilo of CDC. Now uh, it's, I wouldn't recommend doing this I and mean, if you're not personally it was a risk. You don't know what you're gonna end up getting half the time. But I was lucky enough that I got CDC. Uh, at times I thought I was gonna get some other type of feather. But anyway, this is the actual the raw as it came. Now, this is from a domestic these are from domestic duck. Now Basically, domestic duck are mainly white, so uh, <clears throat> obviously you're going to get white CDC feathers. The only disadvantage is that the most popular, obviously, is the natural grey CDC, uh, which is in most dry flies, they're mainly grey wings. So really what you've got to do is dye, dye your own stuff. So, I mean, but the thing is, when I had a lot of CDC, I was, as you can probably see here, uh, I get carried away, and uh, but no, I, 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 CDC can be used in many ways, whether it be for uh, nymphs and obviously dries, uh, whether it's rewinding hackles or so, and there is obviously flies, it's the natural colours of olives and so on, but <coughs> I think I've got every colour of olive you could think of. Uh, I'll put a picture up of the dyes I actually use, I use vineyard dyes. And you'll see in the in the video, or sorry, in the photo, where it comes in a wee, a wee plastic tub, and the instructions and all that's there, uh, and you can follow it, and that will give you the colour that it's, it says, and uh, as long as you follow the instructions, you shouldn't go far far wrong. But anyway, what you do, you experiment. Now, I've got, I mean, there's lots of experimenting, and sometimes you forget what you did, but then. It, when dyeing materials, it's like uh, you can. Sh there's lots of mistakes, uh, tons of mistakes, and you sometimes can get away with it. And you can double dye it, or you can dye over it, or whatever. Now, these are the some of the colours that uh, I was ending up with. Now, basically, what I did was I started marking on what they were. Like this one is a medium olive dye. And a tiny bit, there's a mix of both medium olive and dark olive to get a certain colour. Now, as I say, these were experiments. Now, in this one here, it says, uh, I can take a wee back a wee bit. Uh, this, it says here, a natural grey dyed medium olive. So, again, you, you can, in the feather, you can see the, the olive dye through the natural grey. Then we've got the white dyed as well. It's a medium olive and dark olive mix, but it's slightly lighter. Brown olive, again, that's not, it can go darker than that. It's a sort of medium of, of, uh, in the dye, you can put in a little amount of dye, just to see how it goes. How it goes. Like, if you go from there, here's another medium olive, and again, it's just slightly uh, lighter. And there's, there's there a couple of other ways you can get the dye, like I'll show you as we go along. But this one here is a dark olive. This is just an olive, but again, I've not put in a huge amount of dye, so I've got more of the yellow side. I've got a, again, I've got another golden olive there. I've got a light olive. Now, to get the light olive, is actually there's a couple of ways of getting that. Now, you can see it in here. I like golden olive in this one. Uh, so basically, I've I've not put in a lot of dye, and you see, the fact is a golden olive, you get that colour, but you also can get it from the. Uh, see, I mean, there's golden olive again. You see, see how dark it goes. It's, this is the experiment inside. There's a golden olive, just slightly darker, and it goes on and on, it goes on and on. I should have another one. Brown olive, uh, brown olive, medium olive. I mean, to be honest with you, it's very easy to go from that to that. 
and not watch. Just you've got to watch, but one of the things I like to do, I don't know if you can see it in this one, uh, it's quite hard to see, but you'll see the, the dark side as well as the light side. I'll basically throw over, say, a gram or two of CDC, for instance, and I'll throw one gram in first and I'll let it go dark, and then the other gra gram I'll throw in in the same dye in with the feathers, and it'll take up what's left of the dye, and I'll end up with a two tone, and that's I like the two tone. Yeah, I mean I like to get it in a lot of feathers. Uh, say like in the olive here. I mean, it's just you've got to experiment. You can see here it's dark and light. Uh, and these are mainly experiment, as I say, but I like I use them up. Uh, I mean the, the colours of olives you get are all over the place. I mean when it comes to some of the dyes and how they're actually blended. I mean, dark olive and, and golden olive blended, you get this, that's a nice kind of insetty green, dark green, uh, medium olive, it's white brown, you see, a medium olive and cinnamon, again another colour, uh, it goes on. And then you go from there, uh, and on to, these are, mainly with like cinnamon is a colour I love to use, but, uh, uh, and I'll rename them sometimes to how I feel the, the colours are uh, as well, so I've got to watch myself what I'm doing. Uh, sort of brown, so it's just a little bit kind of brown. This is what I call the big red, which is a Veneers, it's a, what I called it, uh, Menteith, a uh, fiery brown. So obviously it was tying certain flies with it. Uh, this one here is a ginger, but you can see it's very orange. It's, it's amazing the colour. <laughs> I mean, this is classed as ginger. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an orange, no than anything. But if you put a tiny bit of cinnamon in that, you'd be amazed. Uh, this is a this is a cinnamon here. Uh, yeah, in here you can see me double dyeing in a way by throwing in one, one say a gram of CDC, taking up the dark, most of the dye with these feathers, and then throwing in the other uh, gram and getting the lighter colour. So I've got two tone. Uh, so I can use that to suit uh, again as a, another cinnamon uh, and there uh, again that's another cinnamon see how dark it is that's just letting it go I and mean, then it's getting it deeper so again you can really mess about with colours uh, for the dyes and here we go the, the gaudy side or if you want to call it that uh, we can dye blue I mean CDC sometimes is used in salmon flies so anyway, these are obviously hot orange, it suits the salmon, we've got uh, the sunburst, uh, obviously red, it's a fluorescent red, and this one here, well, I've got fluorescent red plus a touch of pink, and again, uh, we're going to the peaches and the corals, this one, fluorescent orange that one is, this is coral, uh, and obviously this is uh, a claret and I mean so if, obviously I'm lucky enough that I had a, a palest uh, white CDC to actually experiment with so nice. anyway there you go that's a wee quick I've got the more bags here <coughs> just to give an idea <laughs> the brown olive the cinnamon the golden olive that's a great colour that one there that's that, that colour of olive there Great for mayflies. Okay, this one here, I called it, I actually named it Rusty Dunn, but what it is is cinnamon and uh, new black. I put doing uh, it's new black, so that's, some, that's one that's black dyes over the years have changed uh, and they do change over the years, it's just uh, the chemicals change. Uh, for instance, black used to come from a blue side and into black uh, or grey to black. I can't remember how it goes just now, I think it's more, I think it's a grey, I'm not sure. But anyway, what this says here, this has got, it's been dyed in cinnamon first and then added a tiny bit of black just to get this lovely colour here. And this works with a lot of flies. I actually called it, the, if you were buying a, if you've got a natural hackle, you have a, a rust type colour in the done, so you have a mix of the two. So there you go, that's just a, a kind of rummel through the type of, well, I do with CDC feathers, so you did ask. Uh, so, uh, it's like anything with materials, whether it be capes or fur or anything. 
that dying is something you have to do. You have to experiment with. Uh, it's, you've got to watch for the colour, you know, when to stop it. So you've got a nice colour that works out. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And it says gold and olive there. It's quite, I mean, it's a nice colour. Uh, a lot of people recognise that in many flies as much as uh, a nice brown, brown olive. But in the light there, it doesn't look much of a difference. But um, if you want to say there is a big difference when you go to, to use it. So the more yellow than that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that wee bit of info on how the CDC, I'm about CDC feathers, but anyway. Uh, any questions, just put it below. I'll try and answer as many as I can. So I hope you enjoy the video and again, thanks for watching.